This visit is a strategic step towards achieving President of Uganda's directives on e-mobility and building a sustainable and scalable electric vehicle ecosystem. This partnership aims to facilitate collaboration and coordination among stakeholders to advance the development and adoption of electric vehicles and infrastructure. There's reality. We are manufacturing these uh, cars, the buses that we've seen on the road, the Kayola, and even the big ones that uh, we are proud of as Ugandan. And this is a vision that really was spearheaded by the head of state. And for that, we really want to thank him for his visionary leadership, but also emphasizing in ensuring that there is budget allocation to this facility. Government through the Chira Motors Corporation is proud to take the lead in holistically supporting all value chains of the nascent subsector. Also, the models we are working on right now, we are working on six models of buses, and I think you'll see a, a couple of them here being worked on, and all of these are new products. So we are also in that product development phase uh, where we continue, even as you produce your refiner, uh, acquiring a platform is not enough. Irene Birunji Mujisha, Presidential CEO Forum's CEO, says that the sector will see some tax exemptions to help boost initial takeoff. The government has been in position to amend the Income Tax Act and where we've seen that uh, there will be exemption on e-mobility, the, the, the electronic manufacturers, manufacturers of electronic cars, uh, mentioning the batteries and also charging points. So that is something that is going to attract and rejuvenate this industry to grow further. This working group consists of both public and private sector players already championing solutions in the transport sector of Uganda, including but not limited to Simba Motorbikes, Gogo Electric, Kasaiba and Ridelink among others. There are different areas that require even collaboration with government. Uh, where The areas we have been active in is uh, industrialization, so we are in talks uh, with Yuri uh, about you know different things we can do here. Chira Motors Corporation is currently producing both diesel and electric buses on a commercial level for both public and private corporations, heavily utilizing local raw materials and outsourcing native human resource as much as possible. For example, we're told the bus has 70,000 parts. Each part you're looking at over 100 people plus making them. In us as Ridelink, we already have a team of almost 25 people across different disciplines. Now all these are jobs being promoted. So you're looking at job promotion, you're looking at uh, technology exchange, you're looking at foreign currency coming in because people are going to start buying more of our services. All members of the e-mobility working group through the presidential CEO forum are expected to join in on establishing robust policy recommendations, networking and partnerships in order to foster a solid foundation on which the sector should take off. Wadulo Makanold for UBC News in Nakasongola.